welcome back or hello for the first time whichever it is vlogmas we are in it well i'm not quite in it. i'm still pre-filming but like while you're watching this you're totally in it today i have a very special very special video that i have been extremely excited about doing it came to me not in a fever dream but when i was laying in bed trying to convince myself to get up for the day i thought hey I really miss Sears wish books. One of the saddest parts of them folding and going into bankruptcy was the fact that there is no, no wish book to pour over every Christmas. And let me tell you, those were the highlight of my childhood around Christmas time. We would get them and I would go through every single page, every section, even the hardware, everything. I had to see it all. I had to know what was in there. And then I would just dream about the things that I wish I could get. Flash forward to 2020, Sears is no longer a thing. However, my lovely aunt kept quite a few of her old Sears catalogs. And as a child, <laughs> whenever I'd go to her, to her place, I would, my, my sister would be watching horror movies and I would just be flipping through Sears catalogs from the 60s and 70s, just dying over this stuff, wishing that they still made it so I could have it. <laughs> anyway, she still has these catalogs, so I asked if I could borrow them to go through a bunch of the gifts and make my fictitious wish list from an antique Sears catalog. So that's what we're gonna do today. Also, I would just like to note that I found my vintage Harley Davidson Christmas t-shirt, so. That's what I'm wearing. All right, I'm so excited. <laughs> Woo, okay, are you ready for this? This is Christmas 1977, the year punk exploded. All right, so we got kids looking up a giant fireplace. Great picture already. Wrap it up early, oh my gosh. Look at the luxurious feel of our finest acrylic velour robe. First of all, that's probably so unbreathable. Second of all, I wouldn't, mm, if it was lit on fire, I imagine it would turn into a giant ball of plastic. The caftan section, I mean, what more can you say? The Ukrainian in me is feeling this vibe over here. I'm gonna try and just show you the best of the best. I'm most excited about the toy section, although the clothing is thrilling too, especially since I'm like, what if I see something I own in here? I've been collecting vintage since I was in elementary school, so what can I say? I have a, a bit of an extensive collection. Look at those trousers. For a screen, what are they for trail? Buy our terrific polyester gabardine weave pants in the length that's specifically tailored to fit you. Oof, polyester. There is one fabric that stinky stinks. Okay, I definitely own a jacket exactly like this one. Ooh, okay, first of all, let's talk about these caftans. Magical. Okay, the lingerie section, hilarious. Like these could just easily go up in flames. All that gauzy stuff. Oh my goodness. I want this slipper right now. Look, it has a little face. It's a child's booty, but whatever. We're fictitiously making our wish list anyway. Child three inch booty in an enchanting style that's soft and cuddly to please your little lads and lasses. Features rabbit eyes and nose on the vamp. Comfortable vinyl outside, medium width. $4.49, that's affordable. Oh my gosh, I wish I actually need new slippers. These tender tootsies, I will take all of them. All of these. Oh my gosh, pretty much every single one of these boots is spectacular. You couldn't go wrong with any of them. Oh, we're moving into the jewelry section. Lots of brown wood jewelry boxes. That's, I feel like that's a classic of the era. Oh, lots of gold, lots of gold jewelry. Ooh, okay, here are the family birthstone charts. These were such a classic, I feel like there's probably more attractive versions of these now. However, I don't know, this men's ring is really kind of speaking to me right here. Do you need a signet ring with your initial on it? 
The answer is yes. Always yes. Ah, uh, charm bracelets. For real, I have my, I think my Bava's. It's amazing. I love that charm bracelets used to be such a thing, like where when you'd travel somewhere, you'd always get a charm bracelet charm. Such a cool little way to remember everywhere that you've gone. But I guess that's what Instagram's for now. <laughs> Lots of incredible technological advancements for um, hair care here. Okay, I didn't know this existed and now I don't know how I'm gonna live life without it. Let me read you the description first before I show you how incredible this is. This is the puppy tissue holder. Designed to cover a standard size tissue box, not included. Tissues pop up through back opening made of long pile modacrylic fiber. Okay, totally flammable just from that word. Anything acrylic, acrylic or like plasticky sounding, flammable. But look at this. Look at this dog. And it holds your tissues. Are we seeing this? I wonder if it came in any other colors, but I guess like brown, yellow, and orange were a very 70s mixture of colors. Okay, I can live life without it. It would definitely be on my list though. There's no doubt about that. Now I have to go on living life knowing about that tissue box. That tissue box cover. Working out in the 70s looks like it was rad. I wish I had some of those right now. Oh, there's even a sun lamp. I wonder if that would get rid of my sad. Oh yeah. I feel like these are like the most classic 70s house coats for men ever. With that said, I would totally wear one now. The boys shop, uh, I want all of it. Like every single one of these tops, I would 100% wear. Oh, and some peasant dresses. 77, what a year. Look at Sesame Street. Yeah, oh, look at that Oscar the Grouch. I don't know if Elmo existed yet. Oh, a cookie monster looks absolutely absurd and I'm into it. And the camp. Superstar Barbie's photo studio, vinyl covered case with strap unfolds to become studio dressing room, includes plastic camera, flood light, chair, mirror, comb, brush. So this is the superstar setup, but you can only get it at Sears. So I would just like to take a minute to note that as a child, probably through garage sales, my sister and I definitely had this blow up couch and furniture as well as this motor home. Pack up and Barbie's ready to go again. Oh, the new Barbie Star Traveler motor home comes with all you see here. But like, look at all this other cool furniture. Like, oh, I want it all. Ooh, there's a fashion plaza. Barbie's Fashion Plaza has a beauty salon, fashion bazaar, snack patio, and bridal boutique. Move escalator by pulling string. Okay, well all these Barbies are fantastic. Okay, so here is the shopping bazaar right here. And then I think these are the off-brand Barbies. They're called suntan dolls. Get a tan after being exposed to sunlight their skin is color change. When you put suntan dhoti in the sun, her skin turns tan in about a minute. Now yeah, she's tan. And look at the pretty suntan. But like, is this not, is this Barbie not giving you like Rachel Zoe uh, feelings? Also, this one plays tennis by themselves with a stick. But they're skin tans. Oh. It's like skin cancer, Barbie. I bet they don't come with sunscreen. Just goes to show you what the goals of the day were. Going shopping at a mall with a bridal boutique and uh, getting tan. I love all of these like little fake grocery store food things too. How cool. We're gonna come across an Easy Bake Oven. Oh, yep, we did. Betty Crocker Easy Bake Oven. Okay, so this is the 1970s incarnation of it is right here. The red. Far cry from like the pink one that I remember when I was a kid. Pink clearly wasn't the uh, the it color of the 70s. It's weird seeing some of these toys too because I definitely remember playing with a bunch of them, but they must have been hand-me-downs from my cousin or something, be or we got them at garage sales because I unless they just kept making the same toys for a long time. I mean, that's uh, definitely a possibility too. Like we had, uh, the, the parking garage for sure. It's like memory lane. 
Got Star Trek here, coming in pretty cool. And the Fonz and his jukebox. Here is the exciting world of Ronald McDonald and all of his friends. And there's a McDonald land. When I was a kid, there were still cartoons on on Saturday morning of Ronald McDonald and like the Fry Kids. What I wouldn't give to have those Fry Kid chairs and stools that they used to have in McDonald's. Oh, Jesse would hate it. I just love tacky, funny nostalgia. And that's not for everyone. I get it, but it's for me and I love it. Love it. Follow Ronald McDonald through the land of apple pie trees. We 100% have this trunk with the cats and dogs on it. <laughs> I guess like I was born 10 years after this wish book came out, but I imagine that technology and other things didn't move as fast back then. Okay, what? I want this now. Look at all these different plant stands. Like, I feel like Ikea makes this now and it's not nearly as nice. And then you got all these and like, what? What, what are you, rooters? Okay, cool, but just wait. Then we have this other side and like, look, it's a combination lamp plant holder. I want it. Ah, blow mold decorations. What I wouldn't give to have more of these like blow mold candles on my front door. Oh my gosh, I have this, I have this tin somewhere and has my like jewelry in it. Okay, this is like the candy section. Sears had everything. 77, pretty good. Let's peek out another year. I feel like 75 is probably gonna be fairly similar to 77. Ooh, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's better. Spectacular. How do I order any of this stuff now? Number one thing on my Christmas list is a time machine. Then I could get all of this stuff, no problem, and just bring it back with me, although, if you are time traveling, can you take stuff from the past and bring it into the future? I'm gonna need to find this out before I move forward because otherwise, what's the point? Oh man, there's just like all kinds of magic happening in the coat department. You can't say it too often. I love you in sterling silver block letters to wear around her wrist. Someone tell Jesse. <laughs> this is what I want for Christmas. Look at that font. Look at it. Vintage style, not vintage values. Putting that out there. Cause as much as I would love to go back in time to be able to like use and wear all of these things, I don't know. Things were not great back then. To go with my Kleenex box dog, I'm gonna need a dog radio. This is the poodle radio. You can get it in pink or blue. I'd probably get blue because as a child, my room had a blue theme to it. And it would only just make sense, you know? Wow, uh, look at all these perfumes and toiletries. Vanity sets, gilded, gilded. The A-line was like super big in the 70s and what a nice cut it is. I love this. Look at these sinister stuffed animals. What secrets is this dog hiding? Or like this. And this blue, oh my gosh. So for a while I was thrifting and I would see sad stuffed animals. I would just buy, <laughs> I would buy them because I felt so bad for them. Anyway, some of them look like these hideous things, but oh wow, the Barbie section here is, is way better than the other one. Okay, we got the beach bus, we got the townhouse, we got the camper, pool party, sand buggy. Put together the Barbie pool party and make her whoosh down the slide. Jump in, sunbathe in the floating chair. Pretend she's throwing a party. Look at that pool, oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. She's winning beauty queen. All of the good things are happening to her in 75. There's a surprise dream house, a sleep and keep case, a Jeep and horse van. Barbie is making moves in 75. Whoa. Okay, this woman is terrifying and I thought that was a handcuff for a second, but it's a pull string because 
she says something. Beautiful Blythe. She'll win your heart in no time with her big soulful eyes. They actually change expression when you pull the string on her back. Okay, this doll looks like it's possessed by the devil. You can't tell me otherwise. Are her eyes red? Those are not soulful eyes, those are terrifying eyes. Open your eyes to the world of Blythe, the wide-eyed world of Blythe. Blythe, the doll with a surprise in her eyes. Quick as a wink, her eyes change color. They change expression, too. Blythe, Blythe, changeable Blythe. Look, she's Bouncy Brown. Wow, green-eyed and groovy. Hey, purple pretty as you please. Ah, oh, beautiful blue. And she's really out of sight in her mod outfit. I wouldn't want to play with that as a child. It would haunt me. It would sit on the top of your bookshelf, and then you'd turn off the light, and you'd be like, oh my god, Blythe is coming to get me. And you'd live in fear. There's not much else to report. A lot of this is in black and white, so you can't really get the full effect of, like, the color popping out at you, you know? Oh, there's a G.I. Joe Kung Fu Grip. This stuff looks pretty cool. I like the color... The color stories. We definitely had, and I still have it somewhere, the record player here. The thing was so cool. I always wanted this like A-frame. Very awesome. I believe we had the boat and the camper as well when I was a kid. But all this other stuff looks super cool. Never had that. And then we got another McDonald's again. Like, isn't that weird that a fast food restaurant was making toys? Or is it just me? That seems really strange now just turn around and see if you won't find a hamburger patch oh so lego started becoming a thing i guess you could uh build houses at that point pretty simplistic considering where lego is where lego is today okay just want to touch quickly on some of the Christmas decorations here because they are fantastic. They had like a candle craft kit, but also like look at these wild candles. Like this one is shaped like a Tiffany lamp. What? Also, I guess if you didn't have a fireplace, you could buy a paper one and set it up so you'd have your, you'd have some something to hang your stockings off of. Not gonna lie, I kind of want it. That should come as no surprise though. This is adorable. The illuminated gingham village with 10 bright pink houses that light up, fire glow windows, doors to let shine through. I'm gonna start looking for this because clearly I need it. Otherwise I'm gonna have to make it. Those are so cute. Okay, add that to the things I need to pick up with my time machine. Okay, who else here is obsessed with blow molds? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you've somehow missed out on this. <laughs> this is terrifying. Oh, here's Santa with the yellow eyes that will haunt your dreams forevermore. Oh, right, we were talking about blow molds. They were revolutionary in their time, and now they're very difficult to find because I think a lot of the factories that were making them have shut down. Anyway, you get like your standard figurines, like snowmen or santas or the candles oh my god just buy someone a bar for christmas if it was a tiki bar i'd be like need it i don't i don't need that i won't take it with me in my time machine because we gotta save room for the most important things like a dog kleenex box and a dog radio gosh it wouldn't be a 70s catalog if there wasn't some brass plates to hang on your wall and what is that is that macrame oh no there's no macrame but Lots of brass to hang on the wall because that is an essential. 75 is pretty great. 75 is pretty great. Let's do 2001. Okay, so in 2001, I would have been like 14 maybe, 13 or 14. So this is like, oh yeah, okay. I definitely had this watch right here, but with like a cloth strap. Baby G watches were it. This is like on the cusp of the 2000s and the 90s. so. It's Sears, so there, there's definitely spillover from the 90s in here. Oh my god, I'm like, Y2K style. So it looks like they expanded their perfume section in the 2000s. Because we have all of the classics here. Which is pretty much Calvin Klein. <laughs> Obsession. CK1, you know, just the classics. Shalimar. Like, what I wouldn't give for this... This little set right here. 
beautiful. Oh my gosh, the Color Institute. <laughs> they would always come out with these like giant kits every Christmas. And it would just be like, here are five different eyeshadow compacts. And I don't remember the eyeshadow or anything ever being that pigmented. It like wasn't very good, but like just the volume of it and just like, ah, makeup, you know? Like if you didn't have a pair of Steve Madden shoes or at least have a poster with one of their ads with the people with the giant bobbleheads, like were you even alive? Were you even living your best is the real question, I think. So at this point, Barbie had really taken over the catalog, all of the collectibles. Oh my gosh, look at this furniture. At this point, I had already grown out of getting Barbies, but look at that. But I still appreciate looking at them. Oh no, okay, I definitely had this Barbie. Generation Girl Barbie. Ultra cool dolls with attitude. Generation Girls! At International High School USA, six best friends met the very first day. So this was the skateboarder one, so obviously I had to get her. But she also had her ears pierced like two and three holes on either side. So I ended up going to Merle Norman's and getting that done as well. However, they grew in. Uh, as an adult, I just didn't, didn't keep up with it, didn't pay attention and the holes grew in. Also, this feels like a little bit behind the times too. Um, with all this like blow up furniture, I feel like that was... I feel like Barbie was a little bit behind. And that's probably why Bratz took over uh, as quickly as they did because Barbie just took her sweet ass time getting cool, you know? Okay, I definitely had one of these. Fashion Magic Make and Shake Salon. Okay, yeah, I definitely had this nail. This nail salon, wow, I forgot about that. You could like make your own nail polishes and whatnot. I believe I had this one because I still have a little container like this full of glitter somewhere and like my arts, art supplies which is really strange. Well, that's kind of it. Thanks so much for joining me while I created my ultimate 1970s wish list of things from a Sears catalog that I can no longer get, but wish I could. We'll see you in the next one. Happy Vlogmas! Toodles. It's fun to give, it's fun to get.